So I'm Katie Eary, menswear designer. Um, I I've been doing it for seven years as an independent designer, showing at Fashion Week, etc. Um, I went to the RCA, that's where I did my masters. Um, yeah, so seven years later, here we are. This is my house, my studio. I live, breathe, eat, do everything here. I think a good home is somewhere where you go in and you just feel really comfortable. It it shouldn't be about having like loads of flashy things. It's just it should be owning lots of things that complement your personality so that when you walk into a home it's like you're walking into that person's brain. Because in the nineties, when you used to go around your friend's house, they'd have a stack of CDs and you'd just you'd look at it and you'd know who this person is. Nowadays you go around someone's house, they're playing all this kind of stuff like new wave and then they'll be listening to rock and then and I'm like who are you? I just don't know who you are but then so now it's like books that I look at and I'm like mm, all right okay but even even then I'm like but are you doing it to be trendy it's really hard to know so I think furniture is the last thing left like for your true identity so I kind of started it how I'd start any collection. I just collated loads of images of everything that I love in the home, what I would like to bring forward and what what I feel is missing. I'm a, I'm a print-based designer, so obviously this is going to be a print-based collection. Um, what are the prints going to be? They're going to have to be something quite trippy, something that attracts you through from the colour or whatever. Something like all the senses are like turned up. I love furniture. I love home. Like I'm obsessed. Um, but I I especially love kitchenware. So I was like, okay, right, I can do something really cool here. And I started thinking, like, who's the muse? Who's the guy? So it kind of like it was a cross between my younger brothers again, and then Johnny Depp from Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. You know that like super cool hippie, but not quite. Just just weird, and you know the kind of guy that will bring back girls or like have wild parties, and everything is everything in his house is going to be strange so it's got a story I went straight in for the kitchen but then as as we went along the design process it was more, it was also about so when they get home from work or uni or whatever like what does their front room look like when they walk in if their friends come around what do they offer that how do they offer them drinks like what, what do the glasses look like and it, and then it was kind of like the journey from getting back walking through the house and getting to the kitchen and uh, doing this dinner party. I want them to, obviously I want them to absolutely love it. <laughs> I want them to be like me in the, in the, like the child's um, bedroom range, just buying all of like the toadstools that you definitely don't need and like the fish print cushions that you also don't need, but you just, you just can't not have. I'm so excited to like bring a bit of vibrancy into people's, house and just feel like I can contribute that bit of personality into their homes like it feels it feels good